Ryan Garcia has been training in the past couple of months for various reasons and the wild claims that he was making. He went on his IG and he posted, we got him boys, Ryan Garcia RIP, putting 666, the devil's number, claiming that, oh, because he's trying to share the truth, trying to shine the light that how much he loves Jesus, the devil came for him and ate and alived him. He also apparently left his wife the second the wife gave birth. He was like, bye bitch, I'm going for milk. He was also aiming to get the Guinness World Record title of the most tweets a day. He would tweet about everything, everyone, drama, attack all the popular people because that gets him the most attention, that gets him the most views. Threatening everyone, accusing of people doing horrible shit. And what was his excuse the whole time? That he loves Jesus, he's a true Christian and he's trying to share the light, the truth with everyone but there everyone is trying to take him down and put him down and he keeps on saying oh if i'm unalive tomorrow just know i didn't do it to myself they came after me and they did it and they're trying to blame it on me even after he posted the picture of 666 r.i.p garcia we got him he came out uh, like a week later and this is what he had to say yes it's me ryan uh i'm coming on here to explain what's going on i'm not in possession of my phone I can't get access to my Instagram. My cards are locked. And I'm just being real, you know, I'm being real taken advantage. I'm not gonna play more of that clip for you. Basically, he was bitching the whole time playing the victim card. Now, I made two videos about him in the past couple of months. First, Ryan Garcia's situation is sad, and talking about how Ryan Garcia's situation got weird he's been going on podcasts he's been you know playing with his nose and making everyone believe that he's on drugs that he's going through mental health stuff with all the tweets that he's been making he would literally like i said tweet about anything i love jesus so much uh, the devil is trying to finger me when i was a kid an alien came and tickled my butthole and he was making just so many claims and he also went this is when the situation got weird he also went and he talked about the grove situation that place where it's called the gentleman club where they take where he claimed that they took him there the party of the rich people the billionaires who do horrible things over there all the politicians all the actors they come over there and they tickle kids and you know what he claimed he said that they took him there they tied his hands they made him watch tickle kids in front of him bro they held me down and they made me watch the little kids get i don't give a anymore where bro they took me to the in the woods bro and they tie i'm not joking bro i have proof bro i don't give a bro i will show you every video you could ever believe bohemian grove is real and people came forward and they were like thank you for sharing this thank you for exposing them jesus loves you everyone was behind him everyone was supporting him and there are obviously other people calling him a coco and in the videos that we talked about him i said that i hope he gets better but still like all these wild claims that he's making and i told you that you shouldn't believe anything you see on the internet he needs to come with the receipts he said he has videos he said he has all of these evidence and he said he is going to expose them what did he do he didn't do shit. You know why? Because it was all fake. It was all for to get more attention, to get more views on the upcoming fight that he had in 20th of April, 2024. That you trolled the entire world with the fight. <laughs> yeah, so was this was this all an act? What yeah. part of it was real? Tell us about it. Uh, I mean, my, my cameraman, Chance, Ajay's there. Um, hey, we have it pre-recorded months ago. What did I say it was going to happen? I said, I'm about to make sure everybody thinks I'm going to go crazy. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Why? Wow, this is going to be the called the great escape. Like, I have it all documented. I was already planning it, uh, you know, weeks and weeks and months behind. Uh, I don't know what made me come up with the idea, honestly. I just uh, one day just decided just to go all in. I exactly know what gave him the idea why he decided to start this whole troll on the internet. The second he got punched in the stomach by tank all of his organs got rearranged it went all the way in all the blood flow stopped going through his head and he decided to be a stupid idiot but on a serious note i think the second he lost his you know 24 and 0 title where he lost the tank and he went 24 1 that really messed him up and in his point of view he had nothing to look forward to because that was the only thing he was holding to his record i'll do this with my nose like, <laughs> I saw. Like, it's just a tick i had everything like i just like but then you make adjustments too 
too. What was real though is um, at times I did drink a little bit during camp because uh, I like to drink. So Bohemian Grove, what, what, you said you have a video that you, you saw. Well, there's actually many stories on it and um, there's actually a lot of people that have come forward to me and you know, there's actually really, there's actually really people in the front lines of all this. You know, I'm in contact with them. Um, his name is Jayco. I'm, I'm not gonna say his last name, but basically he's a big advocate. He goes to Congress all the time to speak about child sex trafficking and he could confirm all these things. A lot of these things, you know, I, I have experienced not only like spiritually in my spiritual senses before I even knew about the Bohemian Grove. He's a testament to it. I had a vision like in 2021. I seen like a beast coming out of San Francisco and I seen the San Francisco bridge and then I seen like the woods and I seen people doing weir really weird things. And I went up to my friend, I said, hey man, is there a place that people do weird things in the woods? I'm just curious. And he was like, well, what are you talking about? Bohemian Grove? And I didn't know what it was, but that was 2021. So I've just been able to like, um, I'm very spiritually gifted, so I could see things before they happen. Long story short, he read a Wikipedia about the Bohemian Grove and he, he, because he's such a spiritual person, his spirit touched him when he was sleeping, while he was dreaming. And in his dream, they were tying him down and he couldn't do anything about it while they were t tickling kids in front of him. So you go from that to saying, oh yeah, I read a Wikipedia and someone came and told me that th so things like this trafficking actually happens. I didn't really have any proof or anything to talk about it, but I just said this for the fight. You know, guys, marketing, it's, it's all about marketing. I told everyone, haha, <laughs> you all losers the problem i have with this is these are some serious things trafficking cupcake trafficking telling everyone that you were tickled when you were a kid coming forward with your mental health sharing mental health the people who listen to you who cared about you, who wanted you to do better with all the problems you've been going on with in your life. And all of a sudden you come out and be like, oh, it was all for selling tickets. Now, even though these are some serious things, it just shows what a fucking douchebag he is. What a piece of shit he is. It's probably because he's been hanging out since he was very young with a lot of influencers and he learned the trick on getting views and, you know, the views gets him to sell his tickets. He mastered the art of pranking and how the internet works on how you should lie your way to get views now mental health is not my department to talk about or you know cupcake trafficking but after seeing that video obviously i think there's a couple of youtubers for sure they came and they talked about the situation and what a piece of shit he is for me i just lost all the respect i had for him that all the things he accomplished because i really respect the people who came from nothing and they got something and they made a name for themselves but after seeing this in my in my eyes he just lost all the respect but what did trigger me to make this video about him is because of a text message that a fake text message to be more clear that he shared to give you a little bit of context ryan has been going on after logan paul for his uh, prime uh, hydration drink he's been saying how bad it is for kids and they're selling you they only care about money they absolutely do not care about you and it is extremely bad for you you can have so many side effects from it long story short he just wants a beef with a big celebrity to spice things up to keep stay relevant and sell more fights in the coming future he went after logo paul and he quickly found out that what a big mistake it was not go drink prime there's horrible chemicals prime tastes like straight sh all right let's talk about it prime hydration a better for you beverage company that i co-founded has sued influencer boxer ryan garcia for defamation the dude's been going nuts on social media claiming the drink uh, is killing you has cyanide in it has poison in it all untrue stuff obviously it's a hydration beverage it's the best hydration beverage on the market besides water obviously but the 20 page lawsuit is right here you should check it out but the kidney Needs to be held accountable. The Ryan Garcia needs to be stopped. He's evil. He's delusional. God bless you, Ryan. Now, before Logan Paul made this, they were going back and forth with their online Twitter beef. They were just trying to expose each other, talking shit to each other, and Ryan obviously making just very, very strong accusations. The whole reason I made this video is because of this specific text message. This was a text message that Ryan posted on his Twitter, which, you know, the title said sad. This is what he claims that Logan Paul texted him you are a bitch i'm going to take everything from you including the food out of your kid's mouth and he claims a few hours later this is what he said go pray to your god you're gonna be sorry like the kids in gaza i don't care you want to shit talk someone i don't care if you want to make accusations against celebrities being a piece of shit and tickling kids when it comes to something as serious as this especially with the suffrage that palestine has been going through in the past couple of months 
This is something you don't fuck around with. How did I find out that this was actually Ryan who wrote this text message? Is because of his fucking grammar. This just shows no matter how much money and influence a person can have, they can still be fucking uneducated. Even me, that English is my second language. It's not my mother tongue language. I can know the difference between your and your. After Logan Paul posted this podcast of him after him shitting on Prime and you know, he's saying the, oh, I love, I love Prime, shout out to Prime. This is where I found the evidence. You're gay, quite literally. You, your, uh, astaghfirullah. And he's been going on all on his Twitter and saying, oh, the kids of Palestine, I stand with Palestine. I stand with this. What they're doing is horrible. I wish the best for the kids. I love them. Muslim people are the best. And he comes and he tweets this for the sake of what? views now i know i'm a small youtuber this prob video will probably get a thousand views i just hope this video reaches to more people and more people are aware of what a piece of shit he is because to this day there's still people supporting him there's still people standing with him and believing everything that comes out of his mouth he also goes on and says in the end i'm just trying to help say wallah Say wallah you're trying Say wallah it's not all for views And for you to selling fights And for you getting attention That you never fucking got And obviously with the big bitch that he is After he made the cl claims about Prime And Logan Paul made that video That he's going to be suing him for defamation Did he stand his ground and be like You know what I stand with the kids Because I've tweeted like 5,000 times That I love kids and I stand with them And I will do anything to protect them Nope. He turned out to be a bigger bitch than Diddy. I just want to say I'm sorry. I don't got a problem with problem. I drink this shit up now. That's just bomb as fuck, bro. That woman in the podcast definitely got so dry after seeing a grown ass being this big of a bitch. So what did we learn from this video? Do not believe anything that anyone says on the internet unless they have receipts. When it comes to Ryan Garcia, whatever claims he's going to have in the future, I'm sure like a majority of people are going not are going to not believe whatever he has to say in the future because it's all going to be for him to sell his fight but it's a shame a very young successful man decides to ruin his whole image his whole reputation for the sake of fucking selling tickets man like he could have literally just come out and just roast people without going through this whole thing because one night one morning he woke up and an idea came to his uh brain but anyways just wanted to talk about this just wanted to bring this out and talk about it just to expose him and show him what his true colors, what kind of a person he actually is. But anyway, stick it for yourself. I'll catch you at the next one.